I just tried shrooms for the first time. Yeah. Did it right before a flight. Go big or go home. I did them and I went to the airport and I found out that the TSA is just complete bullshit. They're not doing anything to protect anybody from nothing. They're just a bunch of Best Buy employees with sheriff badges on. <laughs> Completely useless. I went up to the first lady, I gave her my ID and my ticket. And in my ID, I have really long hair and no glasses. And just to be funny, I wanted to say, that doesn't look like me. But instead I said, that's not me. <laughs> And then she looked back at me and she said, what? And I was high on mushrooms, so my brain said, say it louder. That's not me. She responded with, ha 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 ha. She signed my paper and let me go. I don't know what TSA handbook they're giving out these days, but front page should be a Middle Eastern guy says, that's not me. You stop that guy. I got on my plane. I wasn't even the scariest person on the plane. The pilot was. Let me tell you what happened. We're flying from Seattle down to Los Angeles. Halfway through the flight, pilot comes on the intercom. He goes, We're uh, going to have to land the plane in San Francisco. We're out of fuel. That's all he said. That was his whole announcement. So nonchalant, like we just ran out of peanuts. Immediately, the lady sitting next to me, she turns to me and goes, this is bullshit. The pilot is gonna land the plane early? I have a connector. If he lands the plane in San Francisco, I'm gonna miss my connecting flight and this is gonna ruin my entire day. I turned back to her, I was like, yo, the pilot just said that we're out of fuel. That's the best reason ever to land a plane that you are on is because it's out of fuel. If he doesn't land the plane right now, you're gonna miss the connection to the rest of your life. 20 minutes later though, pilot comes back on the intercom, he goes, you know what? We're gonna go for it. That's what a pilot said <laughs> on a plane. We're gonna go for it. As if this turned into some fourth and goal situation and he wants to take us to the AFC championship game next week. Immediately, everybody on the plane, they started cheering for him. They're like, yay! He's gonna go for it! That's the only time I ever thought about taking over a plane. Just cashing in all my brown points. <laughs> Bum rushing that cockpit, be like, yo, you land this plane right now. You just read the newspaper the next day, terrorist saves 200 lives. 